Hello all, in this video let us take a look into a new feature tabular model scripting language in SQL Server Analysis Service tabular models. So in the earlier versions of uh, tabular models the scripting language used was Analysis Service scripting language which is a XML based language. Now going forward from SQL Server 2016 a new scripting language will be used that is tabular model scripting language which is in short form TMSL. This is a JSON based scripting language. Comparatively when we talk about uh, XMLA and uh, JSON scripting it seems to be much simpler than whatever we heard earlier and uh, it is going to have kind of a very lesser number of attributes in the JSON uh, scripting language to define a cube structure. In that way it is more simple and uh, as well as whenever we are doing some editing on the SSGT uh, it is bit faster compared to the XMLA script editing. So in uh, SQL Server 2016 a new compatibility level is being introduced which is uh, 1200. So whatever model being created uh, with this compatibility level will be using TMSL. But still we will be able to create the models with the previous compatibility level that are uh, 1103 and uh, 1100 which will be using the analysis service scripting languages. So now let us quickly take a look on how this uh, new scripting language looks in the model. So here this model I have created it with uh, uh, the compatibility level 1103 let us take a look how the code looks so this is our uh, uh, existing XML code uh, and uh, you could see there are a lot of uh, um, attributes here and it looks a bit complex so now let us take a look onto a model which has been created with the compatibility level of 1200 which is the new one. This is the new JSON structure and uh, it looks a bit simple and you know the attributes listed here are kind of you know it's in a very readable fashion basically. Okay, so now let us try to deploy this uh, model into the server and uh, try to process the cube uh, using this uh, TMSL scripting language. So I have just set this option for uh, not to process this cube it would just deploy the metadata alone uh, let us go to the server so this model got deployed now uh, to process the database let us choose this process database option and then let me try to create a script for this uh, processing So if you notice the script which is getting generated is as well as in TMSL. So this script also can be used for creating a job and uh, processing the database or, or a partition or cube. Now let us try to create a job and uh, do the processing using this uh, TMSL script. So here we can choose the SQL Server Analysis Service command which we used to do earlier uh, for the uh, XMLA based script as well. So let us paste the processing command here. So you could see it is a simple script say, uh, saying refresh. What are the type? Type is full or uh, incremental we can specify here 
and uh, which objects it's, it's supposed to process. Let us run the job. So the processing is success. So in this way, we should be able to use the uh, latest TMSL uh, scripting to process the uh, database. All the object over here will be, you know, um, represented in the TMSL language only. If at all, if the model is being created with the compatibility of 1200, TMSL only. Um, here, if you notice, this model has been created based on the uh, sorry, this model has been created based on the compatible of 1103, the same uh, with the same structure. So, here um, you do not have an option of uh, scripting the table, but here you do have the script table as option as well. That is one another. Uh, new improvement so you can um, script uh, the at the object level and uh, let us try to script this so as this uh, database uh, compatible level is 1103 ASSL XML as its base uh, scripting language and uh, for this model which has been created uh, with the compatibility level of uh, 1200 has the TMSL as the scripting language. So this this server is a SQL Server 2016 server. So we will be able to deploy the uh, cubes or databases in the different compatible levels. That is the tabular model scripting language TMSL. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. I will meet you all soon with my next video.